learn how to make a decimal to binary converter. Hello guys, today I will teach you how to make a very typical device with logic gates. In this example, we will use a 0 to 9 decimal path, a subcircuit to convert a decimal signal to binary, and 4 probe to visualize the bits converted. But, before we start make our circuit, let's see how it will convert it with this table. See that each button of the decimal pad will be converted into 4 signal of the binary side. Now, let's make our converter with this sub-circuit. To do this, we just need our gates, note that, each decimal button will create a signal, that will be converted to 4 bits, B0, B1, B2 and B3. So, when we press the 1 button, only B0 will be active, if pressed button 2, only B1, on button 3, B0, and B1 will be active, and so on, until button 9. Now, our logic circuit is done, you can test it with Logisyn Simulator. And, don't worry about making this circuit, it is available on my GitHub repository. Now, what if we want to make a Rayall circuit? Let's practice making this circuit on KiCad. This is a typical project of 10 buttons pad circuit, as you can see, it has a little more components than a single push button. Let's see, a single button system. This circuit uses a pull-up resistor to stabilizes the voltage on release, the capacitor is to debounce the button, and the I use a Schmidt trigger inverter to ensure clean transitions with hysteresis, while also inverting the logic so that the output signal goes high when the button is pressed. We will do this button circuit from 0 to 9 buttons, and here it is, the equivalent of our digital pad, a Rayall circuit. Now, let's make the decimal to binary converter. Unfortunately, OR gates with only two inputs are more available, so we will need to make a combination, to get the same result, as our conceptual circuit. This is the circuit for bit 0. This signal comes from the buttons, as explained before. Notice that we need to use four two input OR gates, to build the equivalent of a five input OR gate. Now, we will do this setup to each bit, bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, and bit 3. After that, I interconnect all buttons and logic gates to make our decimal do binary converter. Now, I will show to you how the PCB design was finished, a very elegant input device. But before we make a real PCB, we need to test if everything will work correctly, and, to do this we use a protoboard to check the circuit, this video shows that everything is working very well. We can make this PCB safely now. That's all guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.